January, January 9th, 2023, January 9th, 2023, almost a third of a way through the first month of this year, almost a third of the, of the way through. Um, started out with a little bit of health advice. Um, I used to listen to Brother Polite a lot. You know, Minister Inky, Dr. Inky. I used to, you know, really listen to these guys a lot. Um, Inky is who gave me the greatest peace of mind during the entire COVID situation. You know, I know there are those who thought I was probably losing my mind and probably still thought I've lost it. But Inky, man, Inky was the truth. Um, a lot of his videos have been taken down, but this guy, man, he went in depth about your cell wall and fiber and uh, vitamin D sunlight like it was he called it a master class uh, um, you know just a master class of how to deal with that entire situation um, you know it gave me and you know the the, my, the people who were closest to me at the time The greatest peace of mind and We all got through it man But uh, Brother Polite I used to listen to Brother Polite a lot And Polite is the first person who Turned me on to CMOS CMOS Bladderack Burdock Group CMOS Bladderack Burdock Group uh, if you in, in in spring water, sea moss, bladderack, burdock root gel made in spring water. Uh, they'll say it's the claim is that it'll give you everything the body needs. You know, I feel it. When, I, when I'm not consuming sea moss and I feel it when I return to it. Um, it's one of the greatest energy sources. You know, being a person who doesn't eat meat, I need a shortcut and sea moss is one of my best shortcuts. Um, and I would just say, you know, Try to find an authentic source. Um, but that's it, man. Um, I have more on I have more on CMOS if you have any questions. Um, I there's this idea that was in my mind. You know, I hope one day I'm able to do it, but if somebody does it before me, I say go for it. Um, but it's called One Man's Trash. One Man's Trash. A lot of these businesses that, you know, sell food to the public throw away a ton of food when, when you know, uh, the breakfast is over or when the lunch is over or the dinner, the dinner is over. They just toss this food man and it's a lot of food that they toss um, you know so what I was thinking was let's say you get these really big trash bags like these really big trash bags and um, these disposable containers, these disposable stackable containers. And 
and I know businesses aren't going to do this because people are insane, but this is just, you know, a thought of mine. Um, the food that would get discarded, you take that food and you put it into these stackable, disposable containers. And these containers would already be is, is the the uh, the oversized trash bag would be flat. You know what I mean? It would be flat, but it would be open. And you put the first container inside the circle of this open trash bag, and you stack. You you get uh, the filled containers, and you stack them on top of each other. You know, heaviest food at the bottom, lightest food at the top. And now that it's all inside this plastic bag, you just pull the bag up like you would maybe some, you know, some pants, like a pair of pants. You just pull them up and you tie it at the top like a trash bag. So it's like at this point, it's trash. This is now trash you know uh, strategically uh, strategically structured trash you know what I mean so now you take this trash and you have your own one man's trash has their own trash men you know what I mean now you take these bags and you bring them to uh, those who are starving on the street. You know what I mean? But you don't just give it away, it's conditional. Uh, you know, these people can do community service. You know, they, man, you, you these people, could do all kinds of things for this food. This food is like, you know, it's like currency at this point. It's countless, countless, countless things, you know, that these people can do. Like they can help, you know, make the community a safer place if it's if it's possible, you know what I mean? Um, you know, report crimes. Um, if they're, you know, they're walking on the street, you know, if like there's a hit and run or something like that, they, you know, if they could catch the, the license plate, just all kinds of stuff, man. Pick up trash all day long, just picking up trash, helping, uh, helping recycle, um, directing traffic, man. I don't know anything. You know what I mean? I'm just thinking, but one man's trash. You stack up this food in these disposable, stackable containers. You put them in these extra large trash bags. You take the trash out. And those who contribute to society are able to um Are able to eat, man. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Um, I hope what I said didn't just sound silly as hell. But, you know, it's a short one today. Y'all be good.